Hey everyone, this is Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to create the mirror effect. Um, if you saw my video here, as you can see, um, one side he's wearing a cop uniform, the other side he's wearing a paper that says nothing on it. So I'm going to show you how, to, how I did this. First, um, when shooting, you need two shots. Um, well, I recorded an intro of him just walking into the room, like here. And then, one shot I have him, um, one shot I have him here in the cop uniform, and the other shot I have him in the nothing sticker. So in order to do this, um, first you need to drag your, um, first clip here, which I, which is the one with the cop uniform, and then what I did was, I went frame by frame until, you know, have, when he started to put his head down, I went frame by frame, and then when he started to put his head down, like, um, the, about, say, right here, I took the razor tool, and I split it there so I knew where to put the other clip in relation to that. So then I put this one over here, and V2 and I found where he said put his head down as you see right there I split that too and then put this one over here so once we complete this it will look like putting your head down at the same time then you just put this here then I say I like speak the first few, so I had to make sure that I cut that out. Then you have this. Sorry that, that looks kind of weird with the um well nothing but this is just this tutorial on it um if you do this, um, it'll probably look much cleaner. So then what you want to do is to the second track, um, apply, or do this instead, take that out and just extend this clip back to here. So then it looks normal. Then you can cut it around here. So then what you want to do is to the second track, a apply under video filters, mat, um, apply a four point garbage mat here, to the second track. Um, depending on um, what kind of mirror you're using, you may need an eight point garbage mat, um, but because we are using like a square mirror, if you're using a square rectangular mirror, um, a four-point garbage mat would do, but if it's like a curved mirror, you probably better off, um, probably look better with an eight-point garbage mat. But you know, with a square rectangular mirror, four-point garbage mat is enough. So then, what you want to do is take each corner and match it up with the mirror here. So put, we put one corner here, um, in relation to the second track, one corner up there, the other corner right there, as you can see, we're now starting to see the police officer, though it, you may want to, um, for at least for this shot, I'm going to put it right here so it looks a little better, um, point three. Put it right here. Then you may, after you're done, you may need to go back and um, fix it a little bit so it'll look good. So I'm just gonna go back here, fix that. Go over here, point two, and f put that right there. Point. Three, I'm gonna just put right here, and that's and that's basically it. Then all you gotta do is render it, render it, 
and um, you have your completed effect. Um, I just uh, forgot to mention, it's probably a good idea if, if like your camera has like an automatic st stabilizer steady shot. Um, you probably want to turn that off um, just so it looks a little better. I mean, I've in here I forgot to do that, so it may look a little it may look a little weird. But if you turn off the steady shot, and also it's important that you do not move the camera at all when you're shooting this, so it looks um, as the, the, so it looks per almost perfect, um, or it should look perfect. Um, and then um, just I added then to get this effect here. Um, I just added a couple video filters to it and just edited the settings. So. Um, I'm not going to go into making it look pretty, but I'm, I'm just going to go into the effect. But that's that's it. Um, that's how you do that, and I'll see you all next time.